On the last video where I showed a hack where you used one of the quick set modes, uh, the circle mode, to do something that resembles active track. One of you asked me if I could demonstrate the return to home feature and use that as one of the flight modes we had on some of the older DJI drones that is called course lock. This is basically just flying from point A to point B, where you can operate the drone's orientation independently of the flight direction, as well as uh, navigate the gimbal up and down. This is pretty easy using return to home, but there are a few things that you need to be aware of, and that's what we're going to try in this video. So let's play a little bit around with the car here. So let's see what we want to do now is we're going to find our A position, which could be, let's say it's here. So this would be our A position. So what we do now is we go under the three dots in the upper right corner, then we will choose safety. We make sure that our, our return to home height is the one that we want. Let's put that for 30 meters and then we update the home point. This means that uh, now we have one of the points that we need for our little experiment. So let's just move the drone to the other side of the car, which will basically be our start position. There's this guy out there. That's pretty interesting. I'm just flying over a field here, so I don't think that will give us much problem. So if I just put the drone now, let's just say I can determine what height I want to be in. This is uh, like 13 meters, which seems like a pretty good height for this experiment. So maybe I need to go in and adjust this to maybe around 20, like that. A look at the map. You would see, I've been practicing a little bit here. It would, it would basically go between where you can see the triangle now and the home point. So if I press return to home now, the drone will rise to 20 meters and then it will start to go back to the new updated home point that we did. What I can do then now is I can turn the camera towards the car and then I can simply just focus on the car while it's flying but it's still returning. So let's just see. We need to try this again. <laughs> This was not as elegant as I would have wanted it to be. So let's just, so if we put it out here, maybe we can do it even more slick. So I put it in this position. And then I would say, update the home point. Yes. Then I fly this line. See, there's some nice wind turbines here in the back. You don't want to get too close to those. And we can pull up the map so we can see that we are doing a nice, nice straight line. So, so let's just say that this is enough. So we find our target here. It's my car, not his car. <laughs> so again, we will press the return to home. One thing that you need to be careful about is that if uh, you're running low on battery, so you just even not touch the rotation, so it'll give a very nice evening recording, like that. So one thing that you need to be really careful about is that if you have updated the home point and the drone is running out of battery, then of course it will go to the home point, the new updated home point that you have just set. That could give problems. Let's just give it one more try. And what we can do now, we can simply do a simple movement. We can simply just press. So if we do something like this, position the horizon very nicely. This is a move that would be extremely difficult to do in real life. So if I press return to home now, what the drone will do, I need to flick it back because it will like that. See now it flies basically with the drone angle towards the flying direction. I can maybe pull down the gimbal here a little bit. So you can see you can play around with this and produce some pretty stunning results. I probably need a little bit more practice. <laughs> but by updating the home point you are basically customizing the point where you want the, whole, the drone to return which makes it easy to uh, use this for different purposes. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. 
If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice.